Aaron watches in awe as the cocoon breaks open, letting out a thick, violet ooze. To her surprise, the being that emerges is not Nact, for he is now ethereal in nature, a being of smoke and ash, his shape floating and shifting in the scorching air. The outline of a man with what appears to be a set of dragon wings, a being powered by pure hatred and anger. And just as Faldaran enters, with four phantoms chasing behind him, the being erupts into anger. He unleashes all his power into the very heat of the volcano. The magma bubbles and grows as it stores the energy. The ground starts to tremble, and rocks fall from the ceiling of the chamber. Eren, realizing what is to come, shouts to Faldaran, Retreat! And both fly as fast as they can rushing through as many tunnels crumble around them. Several Albazirs flee with them, now seeing the walls collapse. One of them is crushed up against a pillar, another meets his demise under a falling stalactite. They fly through as few tunnels remain until they find an opening to the surface and dash through it. A wave of ash and wind hits them, catapulting them to a busy Galguela just a few steps away. Though injured, the Fawnweaver heavily stands upon a mountain of bested foes, and next to it, surviving dragons in vines forming a net. He rushes to aid his group just as he sees phantoms flying past him at full speed. Oi! Why the rush? We're just getting started! All of a sudden, a tremor shakes the ground. All three of them swiftly mount their dragons, take the net and fly away from the cataclysmic scene as the cask volcano awakens in a gigantic explosion. Once in relative safety, Faldaren rushes to Eren. What was that thing? Was that him? Is he dead? Did we get him? With that explosion? He must be. It cost Elheim his life. The three of them look at the mountain blackening the sky, mourning the loss of their friend. Whatever is to come of this... We shall help to mend this wrong, and it starts with lifting the corruption from these dragons. She gestures to the ashen dragons of all species that could be found in her net. The eruption of the Karsk volcano hit the whole continent, but none were more so affected than its nearest neighbor, the crown of Yarlontia. In their capital of Yar, chaos strikes. Families rush through the blinding ashen air to find each other. The sky is pitch black, and the clinging of the guards' lamnar armor is constant, as is the screaming and anguish of those who have been harmed. Just as things looked their worst, another wave of ash spreads forth from the volcano. The guards on the wall prepared as the clouds slowed just at the northern gate. A relief for sure, but within the ashen cloud, a disturbing shadow appeared. The aspect of a four-legged dragon, colossal in size. Its exact shape was shrouded in the mist, but its glowing violet eyes were clear. Lava was pouring from between its scales as it stomped towards the gate, shaking the ground, crushing abandoned lodges in its wake. The form suddenly shrinked as it emerged from the clouds of ash, similar to a man, but with wings, claws, and a bestial face. Its jaw opened, and a hot ball of fire sprung forth. <laughs>